So in the last video, we left you with, uh, we had downloaded the program into the HMI, we'd, we'd let it run and adjusted the data a little bit, and then a after letting it run a minute or two, we went ahead and pushed the write to USB uh, button, and we did that with a USB uh, stick plugged into our HMI, and now we're going to show you what to do with that data. You're going to find a link at the bottom of this tutorial, uh, which you'll see in the YouTube comments, uh, how to get to the tutorial if, if you're not already viewing it from there. Uh, it's it's going to show you uh, how to download uh, SQLite Studio, and, and that's what we're going to use to take it from its uh, its current format and turn it into a more usable format, so, which we're going to use uh, CSV file is what we're going to end up with, a comma-separated file. So we're going to take the added database, and we're going to find the file, and I have it in my e-files. It's right here. You're going to want to use all files because it doesn't put an extension on it. But I, I found this is what it's named, and I'm going to click OK, and I'll double click on it, I'll check out the actual data. And I can look at all the data I can see as I was adjusting the numbers up and down. I, uh, it, it, you know, these variables changed and you can see they're all timestamped. And now I can go to uh, tools and export. And I'm just going to export a single table. And I'm going to select the only table that's in this file. Go with next. And uh, I'm going to find a file path. Uh, Called CSV version, and we'll finish it. And now, if I go, if I go to that folder, now I see this right here, and I will open with uh, Notepad plus plus, and we can see you can see this is a comma separated folder uh, version of the file. It's got all of our records in it. So this is something you, you can. You know, you can open up an Excel and chart, or you can uh, you can import into something else. So that should be a good jumping-off point for you.